Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the cobalt, its production, reserves, and how does it impact Indian economy. So let's begin. First, something about cobalt. It is a transition metal which is solid at room temperature and look like this as an image. Cobalt is primarily used in lithium ion batteries and the manufacture of magnetic wear resistant high strength alloys. The compounds cobalt silicate and cobalt aluminate give a distinctive deep blue color to glass, ceramics, inks, paints and varnishes. That is why cobalt compounds have been used for centuries to impart a rich blue color to glass, glazes and ceramics. Cobalt has been detected in Egyptian culture, Persian jewelry, in the ruins of Pompeii and in China dating from Tang dynasty and the Ming dynasty. Cobalt occurs naturally as only one stable isotope. Cobalt 59 Cobalt 60 is a commercially important radioisotope used as a radioactive tracer and for the production of high energy gamma rays. Cobalt is also a constituent of tobacco smoke. The tobacco plant readily absorbs and accumulates heavy metals like cobalt from the surrounding soil in its leaves. These are subsequently inhaled during tobacco smoking. Do you know which country has the highest production of cobalt? No, it's not China. It's Congo or Democratic Republic of Congo located in Central Africa. It supplied more than 60% of world cobalt production. Though the production was decreased from 1,4000 tons to only 1,000,000 tons. Followed by Russia, Australia, Philippines, Cuba and Madagascar. China is the leading supplier of refined cobalt by importing partially refined cobalt from Congo. However, cobalt mining in Congo is linked with human rights abuses including child labor. Because of this, in 2017, Apple stopped buying cobalt mined by hand in DRC. In February 2018, global asset management firm Alliance Bernstein defined the DRC as economically the Saudi Arabia of the electric vehicle age due to its cobalt resources as essential to the lithium and battery electric vehicles. On March 9, 2018, President Joseph Kabila updated the 2002 mining code, increasing royalty charges and declaring cobalt and coltan as strategic metals. The main ores of cobalt are cobaltite, erythrite, glaucodot, and is cutter rudite. But most cobalt is obtained by reducing the cobalt byproducts of nickel and copper mining and smelting. Since cobalt is generally produced as a byproduct, the supply of cobalt depends to a great extent to the economic feasibility of copper and nickel mining in a given market. Several methods exist to separate cobalt from copper and nickel, depending on the concentration of cobalt and the exact composition of the used ore. Cobalt can also be leached from the slag of copper smelting. The products from processes are transformed into the cobalt oxide. This oxide is reduced to metal by the aluminothermic reaction or reduction with carbon in a blast furnace. Now we will look where does our beloved India stand in cobalt production. As per NMI data based on UNFC system, reserves resources of cobalt in terms of ore, as on 1st of April 2015, have been estimated at 44.91 million tons, of which about 69%, that is 30.91 million tons, are estimated in Odisha. The remaining 31% resources are in Jharkhand, 9 million tons, and Nagaland, 5 million tons. Presently, there is no production of cobalt in the country from primary cobalt resources. The demand for cobalt is usually met through imports. Refining capacity of cobalt in India is estimated at about 2060 tons per year. Of these, Nicomet Industries Limited, Kankolim, Goa, and Rubamin Limited, Vadodara, Gujarat were India's leading producer of cobalt cathodes and compounds. Installed capacity for cobalt metal and different cobalt salts at Nicomet is 1000 tons per year. Nicomet Industries Limited manufactures cobalt cathodes of LME approved specifications under Nico brand along with nickel cathodes and sodium sulfate in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Vedanta Group is also exploring ways to produce cobalt for batteries 
as the group has become the latest entrant among companies that seeks to capitalize on the anticipated electric vehicle boom. Cobalt metal powder is reportedly recovered from cemented carbide scrap by Sandvik Asia Limited at its pilot plant in Pune, Maharashtra. In addition, a spent cobalt catalyst from plants producing DMT, TPA and oxo alcohols are also understood to be reprocessed by several small cobalt chemical processors. However, information on reprocessing of cobalt from scrap is not available. It is expected that recycled cobalt would continue to be used for domestic supply. India doesn't have any primary cobalt resources. Two possible secondary sources are nickel bearing laterite deposits in Odisha and copper slag produced by HCL, which have been under R&D studies for commercial applications over the years. The cobalt refiners in India have catered to the market for chemical applications or where the cobalt metal or salt is dissolved and converted to cobalt oxide for cutting tools application. This brings us to the end of the video. Hope you have enjoyed and learned something about cobalt. We'll meet again with new video. Till then, goodbye. Cheers.